God fucking damn it. Welcome to the final episode of the Week of Witchblade comic book chair edition. No, fuck it, I'm calling it that now. We are here at our final book, Witchblade Rebirth Volume 4, and what a- God damn. God damn. <laughs> oh, oh man, I hated number three, but boy, this just whoop, right back up. I finished reading it, and yeah, no, no, it, it ain't perfect, but it is so much better than Volume 3. Synopsis! The ungod has awoken. Chicago is tearing itself apart, and all of Sarah Pizzini's adversaries have come out of the woodwork to stop it or get her. Everybody comes back for one final battle, one final chance. The soul of Chicago is hanging in the balance. Will Sarah prevail, or is this the last battle of the Witchblade? I said final and last a whole bunch. Characters! I'm not gonna list any characters because it's kind of like, oh no, who isn't in volume four of Witchblade? The answer is all the warriors. Everybody's in this. Everybody from the fairy arc, the filler villains, Sarah's crew, they're all here and they're all bringing it. Likes. What did I like? This book. I like this book. In my heart, this book's a five out of five. I loved everything that happened. And like normally I'd give more detailed answers, but ooh, ooh, the spoilers. Like what, like, oh man, you pull one thread and you, you reveal everything. Oh my god, it's so good. Also, this book features some one-shots from past Witchblade wielders. Uh, one from the Middle East and one from the uh, Wild West days. And they have nothing to do with the book, but they are masterfully written and beautifully drawn. And you're just, like, you read volume four of Witchblade Rebirth and you're just like, okay, that was pretty good, but are you ready for more dessert? Yeah. What do I dislike about this book? Now, to be fair, to be fair, this book ain't perfect. It's rushed. It is, like, this is, like, mm, it does a really good job. Like, what it, what it, like, it makes lemons out of lemonade, but this is clearly a rushed job to cancel this line, and I don't blame them with volume three being such a dip in quality. You gotta end it there, and they ended it as quickly as possible. They could have stretched their legs a bit. Maybe it spent a little extra time, maybe, in volume three. That's a d another dislike. Apparently, the filler villains kidnapped Grandfather when Grandfather was with the Black market magic dealers the whole time and they didn't really interact at all in volume three so there's that also the panels are a little hard to read like they just boom 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 jump around like once again it's rushed but complaining about this book is kind of like like imagine you're given a pie and it's the pie you wanted but they forgot to put whipped cream on it i mean like fucking delicious pie probably the best pie you ever had but it'd be a lot better with whipped cream but it's a fucking great pie why are you complaining about pie final verdict 3.5 out of 5, and as I've been saying throughout this review, it is a must read. Oh my god. As I said, it's rushed, and the whole book reads like the last episode of a cancelled Fox TV series that everyone's fallen in love with, but the execs were like, nah, fuck it. Destroy this thing. It's well done. It's compelling. It's exciting. Like I said, brings back all the warriors, but it does feel like out of nowhere. It just feels like... Okay, we were leading up to something, but then BAM! We're gone the accelerator and we're just going as fast as possible. God damn it. It's still a wonderful near and it's oh god. It's still a wonderful end to a near perfect run of Witchblade. Tim Seeley, Diego Bernard, everyone else who worked on this book, take a bow. And those who are interested, pick up this book. Pick up all four of these books, even volume three. Aw oh, man. I'm gonna miss all of these books. Even you. Even you. <sighs> what am I gonna do next, though? Hey, puppies! What do you think I should do next, puppies? Puppies! <laughs>